Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just want to thank every single one of my subscribers. I have reached 101 and to me that's so many. It's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I don't know what else to say, so thank you. I am a very shy person, and honestly, I just do this for myself. I love makeup, and I don't have a lot of people around me that share the same, you know, love for it. Um, but I really, really enjoy it. I feel like it just makes me feel better. I just really love it. And me filming, like, I know my videos aren't amazing like a bunch of other YouTubers out there, which I really love watching, but I know I'm not as great as them. But, you know, I do what I can, and as I keep growing and filming all these other videos, I will get just as better in my own way. And I am a shy person, so for me to be filming myself and, and all this, it's just, you know, a little bit uncomfortable still, but... Like I said, as I keep going, it's really not going to matter. And I know there's nobody in the room or anything. I have two kids, so they're always like on the other in their room while I'm filming. So if you guys hear them in the background, I apologize. But, you know, that's my life. I really appreciate you guys watching me. With that being said, I am just going to continue on my makeup for the day because I am going out. I already filled in my eyebrows and I did moisturize. I clipped my hair back just to get the hairs out of my face because I hate that. If you guys want to see how I get ready, just keep on watching. I like to start with my eyes. I, You know, that's just a, as of lately. I've realized that it's just better for me that way. And I'm just taking the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and applying that all over my lid. Just like that. And I'm using a Morphe G14 brush and again I apologize if you hear my children in the background I won't know until I start editing this video on how loud they could be so I apologize as of right now but you know what I can't really do anything about it I'm a mother and you know I can't have them sit quietly for too long so So now that I've prepped my eyes, I'm going to take my Tarte Let and Bloom palette and I'm going to take Flower Child, which is this color right here. And I'm just going to take that and apply that all over my eyes just to set that. If you set your eyeshadow after you apply the um, the eye primer, it's going to be a lot easier to build the shadow and layer on the shadow. And you won't see it so patchy. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe 350 palette. As always, I haven't gotten sick of this palette yet because it has so many beautiful colors, browns and oranges and, you know, we're in fall so... And honestly, these colors you can use for everything, like um, for a transition color, for anything. Like it's such a perfect palette and I really, really love it. Like I honestly do. Um, I may have to get another one because I'm almost hitting pan in a couple of these colors. So I'm going to take one of these, which is one of the colors that I usually take. It's like this peanut light peanut butter color I don't know I'm really bad at describing colors but yeah it's like orangey brown but it not too orange more brown so I'm gonna take that color and just apply it to my crease I'm also going to take this color from the Morphe palette, it's this a little bit more orangey brown color and I'm going to apply that as well onto the crease and a little bit onto the lid so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be so precise with it. So if it ends up on my lid that's okay, I don't mind.
Now I'm gonna take a Cabana Boy, and it's this color right here. And I'm just going to apply that with a BH Cosmetic Brush, and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. Maybe I should get a little closer. So yeah, all I did was apply Cabana Boy onto my lid. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit more. This is pretty pigmented. So I really like it, it's nice. First time I've used it, so. I really like it. And I feel like I want to take a little bit more of the orangey brown color, the second color I went in with, and just apply that a little bit more. And I'm going to take my MAC 217 brush and I'm just going to take a little bit more of that color and apply that. Now I'm going to go back in with that blending brush that I used in the beginning and just blend that out. So I'm going to leave my eyes like that for right now. Um, just because I like to see what my eyes look like after I apply my foundation. So I like to start off with my eyes but not always complete them, um, you know, not always finish it off. And yeah, I, even though I really do like the way it looks right now, but it'll give me a better view on how further and how much more intense I want it to look or, you know, little things like that. So I'm going to continue with my face. I'm going to go in with this Cover FX Matte and Fine Primer. Once I apply the, the once I apply my primer, I like to color correct as well. I do have a couple of breakouts, and you know, um, I have dark circles, and I like to correct that. So I'm going to take first this NYX Dark Circle Concealer. It's this one right here. It's like a salmon orangey tone. And I really, really like this one. I really, 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 really do. And I'm using a Sephora brush. And I'm just going to take that and apply that underneath my eye where I have the dark circles. So you see the difference between this one and this one and this one. This one has no product and this one has the product. And do you see how it just brightens up your eye? It covers the the, the dark circles and I just really like how this NYX product works. And I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. And you don't always have to just do it underneath your eyes because if you have dark circles anywhere else on your face, you can use this as well. It's gonna work. So say I have a couple of sunspots on my face and if I apply it onto that as well, it does cover them up. So you can. And sometimes I have a little dark spot in the inner corner of my eye and I apply a little bit there as well. So you see? That's great. I really enjoy this, this part. I'm going to apply some right here too. I feel like right here I have a little bit of darkness. So I'm going to apply that right there as well. That's it for the orange concealer. I'm going to take this really, really messy 
oh my god, this Maybelline Cover Stick Corrector, and this is in green. And I'm just going to take some on the tip of my finger and apply that underneath my nose. A lot of girls get these red spots under their nose. It's just hormones, so especially when it's around that, you're, you're getting close to that time of the month, you know? But, you know, that's why we get it sometimes, so. And I have this little breakout right here, which I kind of want to cover up. And I'm going to do that. I also have this little spot on my forehead. I'm going to do that as well. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to take this Infallible Pro Glow 24-hour foundation. And this is by L'Oreal. I'm going to take this one today. And my is in the shade 205 Sun Beige. I'm going to use my Beauty Blender to apply this foundation. So now I'm going to take my concealer and I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes. Just to brighten it up, I'm using this Maybelline, what is it, this Maybelline concealer in the shade Sand. And this is just going to brighten up my eye, my under eye. And I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender again and I'm just going to pat that in. So now that I'm done applying my concealer, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Contouring Palette and I have it in the Caramel Toffee and I'm going to use this banana shade right here and I'm going to take that and apply that underneath my eye just to set that. Now I'm taking this Fit Me Matte and Poreless powder and I'm just going to set my face. Obviously you see I like this powder because I'm hitting pan, I've hit pan on it already. And I'm going to take this BH Cosmetic Brush and I'm just going to grab some of that and apply that on my face and just set the foundation because you need to set that so then when you start layering anything else, say if you want to apply bronzer or shat or um or um or holy crap or blush, it won't be patchy and you know it won't be sticky because not sticky but it will be dry. It would be so much easier to apply another product, just like I said. You want to set that shadow, same thing for your face. You want to always set that product, especially if it's a cream product. 
Okay, so like I told you before, I like to apply my foundation just to see how my eyes are looking. I'm gonna take my blending brush, the one I started off with, and just blend out that crease, that um, that transition color again. And I don't have any product on this brush. It's just whatever was left from when I used it last time. So I'm just blending it. Make sure it just looks good. That's how I like it. And same thing on the other side. I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. It's this one right here. And I'm gonna take the color Morocco and I'm just going to apply that on the lower lash line. And I'm going to be using this Morphe M560 brush. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and yeah. And the reason why I like to do this because I have fine lines underneath my underneath my eyes and they have them go disappear a little bit so they are not that visible I should say is take um, a shadow and just apply that on, on the lower lash line and to clean my brush because I accidentally dipped my brush into the color fudge I do have this color switch and it works really well obviously look I use it all you do is take brush and just swirl it and it just cleans the brush instantly so see nothing there so yeah that's what I did I just wanted to show you guys what I just did I just wanted to show you guys because sometimes you know we accidentally dip it and we don't know what to use so that pro that right there works really really good I really like it and yeah so I'm gonna go take the right color and grab that and apply that on the other side I'm gonna take this BH cosmetic brush and I'm just going to take that and go underneath and blend that lower lash line. I am also going to take that color Cabana Boy and use it as a blush for today. So I'm using my BH blush brush and the same Cabana Boy that I used on my, eye, uh, on my eyes. Apply that to the apples of my cheeks, just like that. On top of that, I want to use this Wet n Wild Sangria Castle. It's this one right here. That's really pretty. I'm going to take some of my blush brush and just apply that over top. So now I'm going to take this L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and apply this onto my lashes. Don't worry if that happens, that always happens to me. All you have to do is just let that mascara dry. If it if it just dripped, like a, a little bit of it dripped on your face, just let it dry and then just pick it off. It'll come right off. I'm gonna take that off. See, just took a brush and I just picked it off because it's dry. Because if you touch it when it's wet, you're gonna have like a black mark on your face. So just give it a minute. You didn't, you didn't ruin your makeup, let it dry. Take a very small brush and just flick it off, just like I did. Now I'm gonna take this lip liner by Wet n Wild and this is in the shade Willow. It's this one right here.
I'm gonna take this color Mauve It and it's by Maybelline and I really love Maybelline lipsticks. Now I'm just gonna set my face with the Mario Badescu. It's this one right here. I love, love, love. I actually have to get another one. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna set my face with that. So now that I sprayed my face, I'm going to take the clips off and just fix my hair a little bit. And that's it. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Don't forget to thumbs it up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!